Yo, I had to hit y'all with this. This means so much. This is something that I actually placed on the back burner for so long, for so, so long. Look, I, I've been asked, hey, Chef Prime, why are you in media? Why are you doing a, you know, Harry Chef Again podcast? Why are you doing Next Chef Network? Why are you doing all of this? It's because of the things that I have actually learned over a period of time. And it comes to, into what are you trading your time for? If you're going out and you're trading sweat equity for a couple of bucks, and if that's your thing, that's your thing. But I'm like, as we get older, your physical body and its makeup changes, you become sore. It takes a little bit longer time to recover from the long periods of standing, flexing, bending, carrying heavy things, working in the kitchen, working in these different environments. It takes a toll on your body. And then you look at other people and what they're doing, right? Uh, first, let, let's make no mistake. You cannot get over success by making it easy. You always got to have, you know, a lot of things, a lot of challenges, a lot of things you got to go through to, to get to these success periods in your life. And there's no escaping the hard work, the, the clear focus, the dedication, longevity plays and, and stuff like this as you travel up the success mountain. But let's just say there's a lot of when you look at or when i looked at other people i was like man they they're doing they're doing you know content they're doing uh podcasts they're doing youtube they're doing all these social media plays and it takes time to build to something right it takes time to build followers subscribers uh the thousands or millions of views and stuff like this uh analytics that make your page and your you know your content valuable it takes time i get it but look they did it and and it was consistent with it and they they never they never wavered from you know being a a creator by bringing something of importance to the market and lo and behold you know a year two three years some people did it for five eight years whatever the case is work is work they they got to a place right now where they are multi-millionaires plus and now they're living their best lives because they did the grind they focused on grit they did what they had to do and now they made it so what i'm doing is i'm just going to lay back i'm going to show y'all why you should get into the podcast space why you should get into the podcast space all right if not youtube look youtube got a feature that been out for a little bit where it's focusing on those that want to get into podcasting and they could do it through youtube so it saves you a lot of money on the back end but look let me get this video played so i could show y'all and hopefully you know this would excite that go button and so you, so you could stop playing with with uh these great money making ideas and just hit that go button all right so let's let's do that let's do that first and then we'll talk on the back end <laughs> One point two million. One point two million. It looks like they got some kind of reward. Look at that, y'all. One point three. What can y'all do with one point three? Just for talking all day.
two million. Bill, okay, Bill Simmons. Well, he been a movie star, so he don't count. He don't count. That don't count. He's a movie star. I, Dave, started from the financial industry at $10 million. Now look, 30 million ain't nothing to sneeze at. And that was, uh, all of this is from 2022. Now, obviously uh, he had another contract where it was, I believe 150 million uh, to, to cross over um, to a different platform. And for him to, you know, really <laughs> like do his thing. So, Look, y'all, there's there's a lot of opportunity out here. You know, uh, you don't you don't have to spend, you know, back breaking long nights. I mean, there's there's still some aspect of it. Yes. You know, that's the, the core of entrepreneurship, you know, especially if you start from the ground up. But I'm just sharing with y'all some things that is, you know, very, very, very true. Now we could look at uh, another thing. You know, look at this: the top 100 most popular and highest paid podcast in 2024. So when I showed you the video, y'all y'all was all like, "Oh man, that's 2022, man. We in 2024, about to head into the 25." And y'all was like, "Oh, that's old. That's old. Don't worry. Look, I got y'all covered." You know what I mean? So I want to hit you off from a video standpoint, from every other angle. And, you know, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. You know, we're obviously not going to do the whole hundred list. I'll probably do like a top top 10, top 15 off it. It's just to give you different perspectives. But, you know, again, Joe Rogan, you know, so this is one of those kind of people where, you know, he put in a work. He he got, you know, did what he did. Now he's, you know, living in a situation where he's at the top of his game. Now, look at this, y'all, real quick before I get into to these these numbers and stuff here. Look, we all start from somewhere. And can you hit these numbers? Yes, you can. Uh, is it going to take finesse? Is it going to take strategy? Is it going to take a longevity thought process? Is it going to take a little bit of work? Yes, it is. Just like anything you start from scratch, uh, it is going to take a little bit of work. Don't rest your mindset in that type of, you know, what you got to go through to get to where these people are. And I'm not saying, you know, like kind of looking at their, what they got and then kind of like wishing that you had it or whatever the case is. You can get there. I'm just letting you know you can get there. You could be on on these type of uh, websites and videos and stuff because of the amazing things that you have done. Right. But look at this. So we're going to jump into it. Right. So this this podcast uh, is titled uh, Stuff You Should Know. Right. Seven point two million podcast and video series published by Our Heart Radio. So that's what they did to deal with. Um, they, they release episodes, you know, several times a week. Um, and I guess their topics is, is science, history, urban legends, and uses popular cultures as references, you know, with a comedic spin, right? 7.2 million. Now look at this guy right here. The Dan Bongino show, right? 50 to 65 million. It's crazy. 
So obviously he started out as a commentator, radio show host, author and stuff like this. And then what he done, just like what other people, you know, they start in a certain, you know, uh, section in their lives. In his case, being all of those type of people that's always in front of, you know, a lot of people, he took all of his followers and then it was focused now on podcasts. So when he released his podcast, he probably already jumped out and had millions of, you know, downloads, listeners and people that followed him from those other, you know, uh, uh, angles or other uh, platforms. And it just followed him on a podcast segment and he got a deal, you know. Uh, so the, the cool thing is once you build up your your listeners when it comes to podcasting, once you build up your downloads that's how they attract or coordinate your your uh actual value then you could go out there and get picked up right so he's his uh his show the dan uh Bingino show is on fox nation and uh westwood one radio affiliates so he's already picked up by fox dateline nbc you already know what time it is with that so that's 34 that's the typo right there 34 to 60 million um i mean it's nbc i mean that's you know what i mean but these are the people you want to look at these are the the joe blows that stuck with it has something interesting to talk about crime junkies average women doing podcasting and then they just jumped into you know that 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 next uh step or stage in their professional career as a podcaster so uh crime junkie is a true crime podcast based out of indianapolis indiana um and these these two girls uh you know they joined the board of directors for crime stoppers where one of them hosted a show for about 20 minutes on uh radio so again transition from radio all these different things your followers will follow you to these other platforms and you know the the show been taken off ever since um here's another one start here you can see in the back abc news uh so you know obviously he kept his joint out the you know the mix which is smart but this is another popular podcast uh the bobby bones show <laughs> sounds like a whole bunch of like medical nerds all together oh i'm i'm so wrong look at that the Bobby Bones Show is a country music radio show that airs every morning. The show is under iHeart Studios. So when you're looking at, okay, let me create this podcast. Let me work work this thing to uh, a point where it gets a lot of listeners. Um, and then I could segue and get picked up. So it looked like uh, iHeart Studios, uh, NBC, ABC News, Fox um, is these type of uh, granular platforms where they will pick you up under a contractual deal. They got 14 million, as you can see. Um, and then they'll put you on it in front of more uh, viewers that could then follow you, right? And that's how the rich get rich, get richer, right? So the Ben Sharper show, I mean, I've seen this do everywhere. Look at that, 50 to 65 million. And looking at his background, I mean, this dude is in the real set. And honestly, stuff like this, you know, when you're looking at uh, creating a, a podcast show from scratch, it doesn't cost a lot to get, um, you know, a, a cheap signage, right? The Ben Sharpro show. Um, it, it doesn't cost a lot to, to, to get that kind of signage. So you can put it in the back. That's probably a thousand, if that, probably 800 to a thousand dollars to get a, a sign like that made. Uh, you know, you could go to Walmart, you could go to um, Amazon, you could go to Wayfair to get those extra, you know, uh, the, 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 the designs. I don't know what the stuff is in the back. You got a, a light back there, um, some other desk type stuff, you know what I mean? So it doesn't cost a lot, but once you have all your stuff set into place, you could then just set up your computer or your camera system your lighting system you can get all that stuff off of amazon and set it all up and you're you're off in the races you know what i mean it's 
it's all about executing your idea. You want to be a podcaster, you can even start it as a side thing, do your daily nine to five because that's what pay the bills, right? And then when you come home, you could dedicate at least one show a day. You know what I mean? If you're real hungry about your business, you could do one show a day, just like this, just like this format, even like what I got going on. You know what I mean? One show a day. Just get up there, talk about something, you know, trending topics. Me, I'm more focused. I'm in the hospitality business. Uh, been so uh, in, in 12 years. And then, you know, uh, outside of my basic, you know, nine to five, I'm, you know, doing this kind of stuff for Next Chef Network, Here We Chef Again podcast, uh, the Gilmore School of Culinary Arts, um, all of that stuff, right? So the, the wheel keep turning. Um, look at this one. And I, I believe y'all seen this one from the video, the Clay Tra uh, Travis and Buck sexton show right now they up in 2024 they up to uh 12 million right watch the video first i think that was like 7 million i'm, I'm if i'm not uh, mistaken but now they're up 12 million uh and then look they've been signed to fox sports radio like fox here he, here we go again with fox so when you when you do your due diligence before you get started right you could look at stuff like this and you can start making note. All right, this this podcaster, Fox, Fox, ABC, NBC, Fox, Fox, iHeartRadio, this and this and this. You can start putting it all together and make your list. And you're like, okay, these are the the companies that I want to get a deal with. You know, if you're more into sports, uh, if you're you know the, like the kind of sports sector and you want to do a podcast and it's sports heavy, you want to look at Barstool. Barstool will pick you up. They picked Cameron and Mesa, give them a $30 million deal. You know what I mean? And and they was podcasting for one year. Now, obviously, they're celebrity proven rappers, so they're already bringing a larger scale of uh, listeners, right? Uh, people that's going to naturally follow them because they were rappers, just like how you see in some of these other cases that I'm showing you now. Uh, the people were broadcast journalists. They were on the radio as a radio host, you know. So there are, you know, uh, a decent amount of people that became familiar with them through these other platforms. And when it was like, hey, I'm just going to do a podcast now, that transference also followed them as well. So, but you don't, don't worry about, you know, hey, they, they, that, you, you know, Cameron and Mace, 30 million, they already rappers, they already, don't compare. I just want to show you that, look, they did it. They pulled in all of their resources. They put themselves into these unique uh, positions on these different platforms. They did all of this kind of creative stuff. You could do the same thing. The Glenn Beck program. 200 million. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, obviously, you know, he'd been on radio, as you can see in his profile right here, radio personality. So he covers American culture, politics and social issues in a memorable way. You know, he got a way of connecting a lot of these uh, current trending topics and making a stick when he talks. So um, hosted by blaze studios in dallas texas so so obviously he's based out of dallas texas and he utilized uh blaze studio as uh his his platform right to to do all of this stuff just animals you know unreported but a lot of people follow the animal kingdom anything that happens there a lot of inquisitive minds want to look at and learn about animals and what they do so obviously that's a focus that draws in a lot of people there's not much competition in that specific um area right so that's something that you could look at as well um 2020 look this is this is major major stuff major networking we don't even got to get into all of that uh the megan kelly show she's worth 45 million look at this one uh armstrong and getty that looks crazy right there. I like that. And you can tell that's their office, right? Look at the background. 
that's kind of dope. So unreported, that's cool. The Breakfast Club, needless to say, you know, I believe they're iHeartRadio. Um, I, I strongly believe iHeartRadio. Oh, Revolt broadcasted every morning. So I guess it went from iHeartRadio to uh, Revolt. But, you know, that's that's a major. So Revolt looks for, um, you know, great people to turn into shows to, net, you know, network and shows or uh, podcasts and stuff. So you could and Joe Rogan experience. I was off uh, 50 million. You know, he's offered 200 million. <laughs> Uh, that was a contract. So uh, you could look at all of these people, right? Look at the kind of stuff that they talk about. Look at, man, only thing they're doing. And this is why I jumped in. I, I jumped in. Look, 20 to 25 uh, million. Elvis Duran and the morning show. Uh, what do they talk about? So this is uh, from Z100 Studio in New York. So this is where they travel to to do their show z100 studio in new york so that's another thing i'm giving you something wow you could look up that company knock on their door and be like that's what i would do i'll go to new york i would knock on z100 studio like look this is what i got sit down do a full presentation i got this many downloads this many listeners every um uh month whatever roll down your whole stats and then hopefully they'll pick you up. I'll do that. That's the kind of person I am. Um, so, you know, talk hosts of lavish parties that they can attend every morning. So they got they, they cover parties, right? Mindful minutes, uh, 48 hours. That's a huge TV show. So I, hey, that's crazy. The Tucker Carson show. This is the show that saved this man. This is the show that saved this man because he seriously killed his career right because he was a journalist he killed his career and then he was like look i still got followers i still got people that believe in me i still got people like if i put out something because he has a very strong youtube presence if i put out something i have this many viewers on my youtube channel let me put out a podcast saved his life saved I'm not going to hold you. It saved his life. All right. Saved it. So, and I, I'm going to stop right here. You know, 380 million, you know, situation dictate. But needless to say, does again, does it take time? Yes. You know, these are some of the extraordinary cases where they struck big as far as followers uh they struck big in different areas and then they just crossed it all and, or funneled it, funneled it down to podcasting but as a normal person like me like you that might be looking at this look waste no time if you're going to waste a year that's a whole year's worth of work that you could be building from the scratch from the ground up you know, uh, I got a, a Spotify. So Harry Chef again is uh, on Spotify. I already got some shows listed. This is going to be on there as well. Uh, other videos that I do like this is going to be on uh, my my Harry Chef again uh, podcast on YouTube and also circle back and it's going to be posted on uh, my Spotify as well. And you can go to Spotify, look me up. Uh, uh, look up my company, uh, Harry Chef Again Podcast. I got an entire team, um, you know, editors, writers, uh, videographers, like the 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 whole tidbit under uh, Next Chef Network. So, uh, look, y'all, don't waste no time. Have an idea about what you want to talk about or the industry that you want to be under, and then talk about it. Even if if you're not using, you know, uh, twelve thousand uh, dollar, twenty thirty thousand dollar camera system, you don't need any of that stuff. Start with what you have as long as you start and then build up from there. You could, you know, if you have a nine to five and you juggling both, look, get a lick on your job, do a little bit more, you know, overtime if you have to. 
if you have a job where you where your job is giving you bonuses allocate all of that bonus to help your podcast if you need equipment if you need hired hands on a uh uh not even a contractual but like on a video by video basis there's a lot of people out there that's looking uh for work you know in the film market you know what i mean so you could you know easily network uh within those respective uh circles um but the my whole thing is just get it done because there's a lot of room for a lot of people to get a lot of you know valuable projects lifted up off the ground and you don't have to be that person that is working in an industry that you hate working for a manager that you think you're better than and getting paid whatever you're getting paid and you're saying that's my life get out of the sideline get off the sideline get into the game get some shows done get some podcasts done all right y'all so this stuff is easy um just jump on it y'all just jump on it all right uh that's all i got and if y'all got any kind of questions just leave it in the comment then i periodically uh will will check you know and then depending on what kind of question i may do a video just off of that depending on your question though all right um and also go to nextchefnetwork.com if you want to reach out to me um just go there follow the links follow follow just go to the website you you'll be able to get in contact with me all right y'all chef prime i'm out thank you for your time